half of the cash. Get it, S class with the motorized dash. Get it, uh, might hop out the dance. Get it, hey, this is pretty with some math. Get it, uh, should be out of time. Get it, bring the money back on time. Get it, uh, got body, got mind. She get it, she just got the contract signed. Get it, uh, bad for the cash. She get it, S class with the motorized dash. Get it, uh, might hop out the dance. Get it, hey, this is pretty with some math. Uh, I keep a bag on the way. I'm in the mix, but I stand out the way. How many dollars you ran up today? How many times I'ma stand up and say I'm the original man out this bitch? No, I ain't paying no taxes and shit. I'ma keep back and relax in this bitch. Indigenous niggas is back in this bitch. Original people on section eight. Really, we should be on section three. Fuck with me, I got the recipe. My treaty say ain't no arresting me. I'm out here fulfilling my destiny. I'm flexing, bitch, won't you come flex with me? Collect a few checks when you next to me. It's gonna be a lot more than sex with me. Bitch, you deserve some expense. Yeah, man, so you know, Chief Cotty checking in, man. Sitting here with my man, King Chip, Cleveland, Ohio, you feel what I'm saying? So, um, you know, this brother has been definitely moving around the industry for a minute, man, doing his thing, man. And he's one of our brothers from Cleveland, man, you feel what I'm saying? So, I definitely wanted to, he was in the city, he's in Atlanta, I definitely wanted to check in with bro, man. And, um, you know, we be on our, we be on our waking people up shit, right? And I want to, I want you to understand it. ain't a lot of people in the industry that's not afraid to speak up of what they know. And this is one of the brothers who actually speaks up for what he knows. Um, today when I met you, came through the door, you was playing a song, um, speaking about not getting off a boat. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that, tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm playing some other unreleased joint. You know, I, I drop a, I drop some haymakers on it or, or everything I do now, but I, you know, once I really like tapped in, tapped in, I was like, you know, I'm gonna always, Oh, a haymaker and, you know, everywhere I can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Knock their ass into this, into this information. What took you there? What was it that took you to talking about um, this land and, and the opposite of what we were taught in school of being slaves and African and what took you to that point? I mean, really, the, where I first heard it from was my grandma Rose, my great grandma Rose. She was on the porch and she was she told me that we was Cherokee. And I was a little kid. I didn't really know. I mean, I heard of that when I was a kid. I didn't associate it with people that was, you know, melanated people. You know what I mean? So, it was, it was just, and she was real, you know, fair skin. So, I didn't, I didn't really know what was behind it all, but I knew that it was. So when she said she was Indian, you probably associated associated with with more of what you saw on TV. I the, mean, I the thought Native it was Americans. Indian. I, I thought it was like, you know how you meet people and be like, yeah, I got part Chinese or okay. something. Like, yeah. I, I didn't think it was like, I didn't think of Americans. Yeah, think of black are. people. I think of what yeah. they call them, black people. You know what I mean? Like, I got you. you know, the more I just, you know, I got older and then you get into this information age, I just... You know, that's one of the many things I discovered was, you know, just friends of mine like like, like Slim Bull, he really was one of the ones that kind of pushed me over the edge with the information and really, you know, he even tracked my lineage. I called my father and was like, yo, who is, that's right. you know what I'm saying? He like, oh, that's my great, great, great. Grandmother, like we never even talked about her ever. Like, wow. How you know about her? I'm like, well, yeah. And my homie son Bull tracked me, tracked me back, and was like gave me all these names to ask you about me. And wow. he was like, yeah, we was always here. Wow. You know what I mean? So I'm like, man, that's amazing. That's when I really start, and then, it, and then it's just I fell down the rabbit hole with it, mm. pretty much. You know what I mean? One thing I love to see about you, though, is because I follow you on IG, man, and one thing I love to see about you is, I mean, when you go in, when you go in, you know what I'm saying, and you, you stand your ground on what you know, you know what I'm saying, because there's a lot of people, when we bring this information to the table, they tell us we don't know what we're talking about, your grandparents is lied to, but man, I sat and watched you, I watched you on IG, bang. You know what I'm saying? Bang for who you are. And I and I would definitely like to tell you that's something I appreciate. I definitely want to salute you on that because we go through the same thing, bro. We go we go through the same thing. And it's a lot of people that attack us for knowing what we know. And they get mad at us because we know it, but they don't know it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they just, 
people just stuck in their ways because they seen people take these lies to the grave. They seen their auntie down with these lies. They seen their mama, cousins, uncles, right. great uncles, great grandparents take these lies to the grave. So they like, here we come all of a sudden, they're like, they all got a trip. You know what I mean? Like, you got African, y'all see these all through the house. You know what I mean? But you can't call nobody from Africa. They know, can't connect they yourself know, back, they know, right? They never made no connection. They still, so they just under this ideology. No, that's right. You're definitely right, man. So, you know, that's one thing we have to do is definitely dig deeper than the surface, you know? Definitely have to dig deeper than the surface of what we've been taught. And this is something I try to tell our people. I get what they told us in school. And then when I ask you, when the first time did you hear you was African? And then you tell me, in school. And I ask you, what did your grandparents ever say? You ever hear it in your family? Right. Yeah, I did. And then you go to school and they tell you something different. So I'm trying to tell you, it's a reason. It's a reason. Oh yeah, you gotta, if the landlords get tricked into believing that the tenants is. That's real. You know what I mean? That's, that's real. <laughs> nah, that's real. That's real. Yeah, and, and that's what they're gonna follow, right? You know, and then they're gonna teach the, the yeah. down the line. So you gotta imagine we went through generations of this. You know what I'm saying? So this is why it's not so easy for people to accept it. Because the landlords was triggered, they hooked the tenants. The and that's what they would you know, they were following that, so it's not many of us that's banging against that truth, standing up on that truth, you know, so I definitely appreciate yeah. you for doing that, you know. When you're yeah, moving around the industry, do you hear people speaking on it in the industry? Oh, um, man. Yeah, yeah. Are I, they have, I have conversations back? with people about it, you know, and it's, uh, it's not a topic that people, you know, they, it's, not, it's not a topic that they start, it's something that I may start, but then they be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, just because you're black in America don't mean you from Africa. Yeah, that's, I get that concept. Okay, we can start there. You know what I mean? And then you just, you just build from there. Yeah, you know, that's really the first step is to understand that people, melanated people, we original people on the planet Earth. And America ain't no exception. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> no, that's real, man. And, and I love it, man. I mean, um, a lot of us get discouraged, you know what I'm saying? But those of us who are doing this, some of us get discouraged because we feel like you know, we are the minority with, with, with what we're saying. But then, not only are we fighting the system, we end up fighting our own. You get what I'm saying? So those of us, like you and I, we, some of us get discouraged by that, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, they, they they don't know how to go about it, but you know, one thing I would say is, you know, just keep fighting because look at you. I mean, you're in a position, a good position, to where our voices can be heard a little better. You know what I'm saying? Look at people like Kyrie Irving. Waking up, you know what I'm saying? People in the industry, like, I, I think the first person I heard, I'm not gonna say, well, I'll say the first person I heard industry wise of this time come out and make a lot of noise. Was Walker Flocker. Yeah. Walker came out and said he wasn't black, yeah. he wasn't African, and they didn't understand yeah. what he, he was said saying. Red, black cheddar red for you or something like that. And he made a lot of sense, but they didn't understand, right? So this they was in their shock. They yeah. couldn't say that. Yeah. But one thing <laughs> I like to say though, man, is a lot of people are now waking up um, and they're starting to look. They're starting yeah. to check in, you know. Yeah. So it's fun. I mean, it's it's for me. It was fun. It was like. You know, I felt like I just stumbled on something that has a lot to do with me and a lot of people that I'm around. You know what I mean? So, it was just something that was like, it was necessary. It wasn't no waste of time. And it's a lot waiting on you. Like, there's people out here, you know, struggling that don't even really got to struggle. You know what I'm saying? They don't got to struggle. But yeah. they just, they, they, are, they under a false category, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and, and the nationality ain't there. That's right. So uh, one of the things uh, we were telling our people, um, I took a bunch of children to the Etowah Indian Mouse recently, and one of the things we were telling the people is, you have rights here on this land as an American Indian. For sure. But you don't know that. You don't even know what you they know are. Why? Because you call yourself black, or you call yourself African. For real. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what rights you have on this land. Yeah. But in a minute, if we don't get it right, we won't have these rights. Because they're wiping us out slowly but surely. The more you're calling yourself African, you're now calling yourself a foreigner. 
Exactly. You're taking yourself off the land. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Calling yourself black doesn't attach you to anybody's exactly. land politically. Nobody's land. Yeah, black but they know this, right? Yeah, they know. They know this. We got to start knowing this, man. So it's amazing to see you. You can't nationalize by a continent. Like Africa is a continent, so you can't be African American. You can be Nigerian American, but you can't Speak be African American because Africa is a continent. And, and any any time um, you put anything in front of American. <laughs> you're taking yourself off the land because we, once you put African in front of your name, in front of American, you put, consider yourself a foreigner. They American Africans, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you take yourself off the land. So, man, you know, just watching you do your thing, man, and then to watch you put it into music. You know what I'm saying? Put it into music because our people are very big on vibrations and energy. And you're bringing that, that tribal energy that's what me and Slim Bull talk a lot about, you know, and um, I want you to be, you know, an example to these musicians to show this is us, this music is us. Most, most definitely. Let's speak most about definitely. what matters, you know what I'm saying? Let's speak about what matters, man. It's so. a community growing, though. I'm, I'm seeing it, though. I'm seeing it grow. It's not all connected to the point where we all, like, know each other, but it's... No, man, you're right. It's, it's growing. You're, you know you're right, I mean? and, and that's what's, you know, and even with people like you and Walker Flock being musicians and speaking on it, now your music is hitting ears you have no clue of, right? So now people may look to you as, you know, let me check more into this brother and see what he can explain to me, what he can talk to me about. So I would just like to tell you, um, you know, bro, don't stop, man. Man, don't stop. I'm proud of you. I, I promise you, I'm proud of you, man. There's a lot of us in Cleveland who are actually waking up to this. I came home recently, and um, I met some of the brothers from Bob Thugs and uh, Mo Thug family, you know. But them, some of them is my dudes, and we got to talking about this. And they was like, wow, you know, and now we follow each other on social media, so we can talk about these, this Cleveland energy we got. You know? I love home, man. You know what I mean? You know, they... they you know, he even heard Busy talking about it, right? Busy talking, talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bone thugs and harmony, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I, I don't know their family history. You to can look at it. Say, yeah, but I mean, it's a phenotype. You can look at it. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the bridge of the nose and the cheekbones. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the we are who we are, you know, and, I, and I'm glad to see Cleveland standing up, man. I'm glad to see us moving, how we moving, man. I feel like we are being a big part of making this noise and, and shaking things up, man, and waking people up. So um, I'm yeah. definitely glad Chip for part of this, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, um, yeah, man. Hey, man, listen, I'm going to get out of here, man. Yeah. Let y'all do your thing, man. I thank you for your time, bro. Always. Definitely, man. Always, Tribe always, is man. checking in with King Chip. Man. Yeah, Tribe is. Yeah. You know what it is, man. <laughs> King Chip, Chip for real.